How to set up the light, I has guided you in the lighting section www.lightingsecret.com. This picture I took in Korea in the fall. Now I will show you how to make this photo more impressive and vibrant. I will click open. First, this photo is a bit dark, so I will increase the contrast for the image. Please note that look at the histogram here, when it touches it is enough. Now I see it hasn't arrived yet. Two times. Okay. I see that this histogram is close to touching, which means that the picture is bright enough. I won't be able to see it with the naked eye, so I'll keep an eye on the histogram. Okay. After the contrast has been brightened, I will now add art. Then this is the combo that I often use is contrast with art its opposite. Here contrast I lit up the photo and I added art. Then when adding art, its skin will turn pale. So I will reduce the skin by about 70%. Here I doesn't want the skin to turn pale. Always sweep into the dress. Then the image brightness is just enough. So now I will handle it. I will merge the layers together. And I'm going to pull this photo out, make the dress longer. As well as recompose the photo. This photo is not properly composed, now I will recompose one third. Then Sam pulled down the grave a little. Put it in the correct one third composition. I already have a one third composition. Now I will handle the squeeze. Select liquify. First, I will squeeze, this shoulder is a bit big, squeeze a little bit. Then I would squeeze the dress, giving it a slight curl. Normally, I always likes dresses that are a little bit curvy. And I will squeeze in this part to make it straight, note the leaves. Don't let it get distorted. Okay. Then now I will come to the color correction. This blue one is slightly encroaching on the subject. So I will choose color cast and I will subtract green. Here I subtract, I see that the blue color is gone. Click one more. I see that before after, the blue color is gone. Next, this yellow, I finds it a bit bright. Red it's still a bit bright. Then red I will add red, then it will darken. Adding red, I see this red darkening. The red at first was very bright, encroaching on the subject, but now it darkens. I'm going to sweep this red out of my skin. Because of the red color, it often darkens the skin. Next, I will deal with the white dress, then I will enter the white dress. Here I see before and after, the dress is very white. However here it is a bit too white. So I will reduce it a little bit. I think so about 50 is okay. Now I is going to work on this yellow, which is also a bit light. So I will merge the layer and opens camera raw. In this camera raw part, to process yellow, I go to color mixer. I'm in hue, I'll change this color to orange. Then after I switch to orange, see that this yellow is no longer too bright. Now I have finished correcting the color part of this photo. Group layer, before, after. Then I worked on the blue, yellow, skirt, and red. You see it very quickly. And now I'm going to the light part. Brightness, dark, block. Then first I will hit the block. Darken these surrounding areas a little bit. This skinning part is very easy, I can do it myself. This is I guiding you to color correct. Then I will make the dark parts darker. And the bright parts themselves will hit it more pop. Let this dress make it 3D pop. I will join contrast. Sweep over the detailed highlights.
Merge up and dodge more. And if it's too much, I'll reduce it. I'm going to hit some of the arches and it lights up. I finished this photo. Before, the picture is very dark, the colors are pale. And after I edit it, the photo is very impressive.